Greetings Fright fans and welcome in. Dr. Gang Green here. Glad you're able to join me today. We're going to do something kind of fun. Uh, something a little different. Uh, first off, I hope you all had a happy Halloween and enjoyed the Halloween countdown. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we looked at the Universal films this year and uh, those turned out great. For Halloween, my son Luke and I went on a little trip. We went up to Fairborn, Ohio, they have a weekend-long Halloween celebration up there. And so we wanted to go check that out. So we drove up there. And then while we were there, during the day one day, we decided to get out and uh, see some sights. And we went to different places. And we wound up going, uh, running by a second in Charles. Now, I've seen a lot of people here on YouTube um, shoot videos because they sell these things called mystery boxes which are 50 movies in a box here uh you don't know what you're getting it's it's dvds and blu-rays and so we were about to walk out the door and we saw them sitting there and i thought why not you know it might be something fun to do and i'll do one of those videos like i've seen everybody else do it was 30 dollars for 50 Blu-rays, so that comes out to something like 65 cents or 60 cents a, a piece, I think. So anyway, there's the box. We'll go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look and see uh, what the, we got here. All right, let's see here. This tape's kind of popping up a little bit on the end already there. This box is heavy. I know that when I grabbed it and uh, went to take it out to the car, I was surprised at how heavy it was. I guess I shouldn't be 50 DVDs, but all right, here we go. We'll take a quick look and run through these. Uh, some of the ones I've seen, people have had just horrible luck at this. Now, I did see one guy who had a pretty good looking set that had uh, older stuff in it, which is what I'd be interested in but most people get newer crappy stuff. So here we go. Let's see. The Beverly Hillbillies volume one, three episodes. Oh boy. <laughs> that's okay though. I mean, Hillbillies are, I guess that's all right. Penny Dreadful. That's a movie. It's not the TV series. So um, I don't know what that is. Might check it out. Jim Carrey. Yes, man. Not my cup of tea, but uh, we'll see. I really doubt I'd ever watch that. Role models. It's okay. Uh, maybe I'll watch it. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. So we got some Lord of the Rings. Uh, one's widescreen, one's full screen. I think, I'm pretty sure we have these already. Um, but, you know, they were great movies. Well, look at there, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Curse of the Black Cur Pearl, At World's End, and Dead Man's Chest. So, all DVDs. These have all been DVDs. Um, it's all right. Pirates of the Caribbean is fine. I don't know. I don't know if we have those or not. I'll have to ask my son. Maybe we do. Uh, Dixie Chicks, an evening with the Dixie Chicks. Yeah, that's, I'm not keeping that. Uh, Step Brothers. Okay, so, so far it seems like we've got um, comedy and action in this one. All right, now this is kind of cool. Um, South Park, complete season eight, eighth season. That's pretty cool, South Park season eight. Definitely keep that. Donnie Darko, do you guys like Donnie Darko? I am not a fan. I just, yeah, we have it anyway, but yeah, don't care for it. Basic Instinct. I've never watched Basic Instinct. I'll watch it once and then, uh, and then I'll probably get rid of that. Um, Backdraft. That's a good movie. Silence of the Lambs. I'm 95% sure we already have that. I'll put it in the keep pile for now. I'm going to put my keepers up here in the ones I'll get rid of down there. Rounders. Don't know anything about Rounders. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll take a look at it. Matt Damon and Edward Norton, so that's okay. Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, uh, Men in Black 2. We, we've got it. Undercover Brother. I'll watch it once. Bill Ingvall, Here's Your Sign Live. 
Now, Scooby-Doo. I think we already got Scooby-Doo. Zoinks! So, we'll get rid of that one. Um, unfaithful. Ooh, very dramatic. Richard Gere and Diane Lane. So adult. Uh, I, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to watch that. I ain't going to watch that. Castaway. Um, I don't think I have a copy of Castaway. I really don't want a co copy of Castaway. So... Oh, we got here. Uptown Girls. I don't know if we can get that either. I mean, there are some good movies in here. It's just not my cup of tea. Chicago, again. I'll probably give that to somebody. Seinfeld, season one and two. That's kind of cool. Oh, hey, this is neat. Look at there. Indiana Jones. We got uh, four Indiana Jones movies right there. Box set. There you go. I think we've got a couple of those, but I don't think I have all four of them. So that's actually kind of cool. There you go. Again, on DVD. It's all DVDs so far. Uh, about a boy, Hugh Grant. I'm not going to watch that. Harrison Ford in Frantic. Anybody seen that movie? I've never seen Frantic. Phone Booth, a brilliant psychological thriller with Colin Farrell, Forrest Whitaker, and Kiefer Sutherland. It might be worth watching once. All right, let's see what else we got here. The Wedding Planner. Eh. Family Guy. There we go. Family Guy Volume 4. I bet you Luke already has this, but I'll ask him and see. This, he'll keep this if so. If we already have it, we'll, I mean, if not, if we already have it, we'll get rid of it. When Harry Met Sally. I've seen it. It's funny. I'm not keeping it. Caddyshack. We'll keep it. I don't have a copy of it. I'm not a Bill Murray fan. I just don't care for Bill Murray, but the rest of the cast is pretty funny, so I'll hang on to it. Don't care for these snapper cases either, these old paper. This is a really old DVD, you know, the old school ones with the snapper thing on the end, but whatever. Thelma and Louise. All right. That was Ridley Scott directed that, I believe. It's okay. Um, it's, it's, yeah, whatever. I like Ridley Scott, but yeah, I don't have a copy of that for sure. Vin Diesel, The Pacifier, and Will Smith, I Robot. So that's all in the go pile. Um, they could definitely have done a better version of the Isaac Asimov story than that. It's okay, but yeah. Forrest Gump, I do not own Forrest Gump either. Don't care about that. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. The Day After Tomorrow. True Lies. Arnold. I do like this movie. Um, don't know if we have that. I'll have to check and see. All right, so that's, that's the halfway mark. That's the top layer down. We'll reach down in here. And just looking in here, there's no Blu-rays. So it said Blu-rays and DVDs, and everybody I've seen got Blu-rays in their box. I didn't get any Blu-rays, so we got all DVDs and whatever. What do you want for $30? I have never heard of Good Luck Chuck. So Arlington Road, Tim Robbins, Jeff Bridges, your paranoia is real. Is it a cop movie? I don't know. We'll check it out. The Rock, Walking Tall. I've seen this. It's okay. I would much prefer to have gotten a copy of the original Walking Tall, but um, I would not have chosen Dwayne Johnson for that. But whatever. Burn After Reading, George Clooney, Francis McDormand, John Malkovich, Tilda Swinton, and Brad Pitt. I've never seen that, so we'll give it a chill. Hey, look, we've got a couple of Bond movies here. How about that? Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale, so we got a couple of newer ones there. We'll hang on to that. Anna Ferris, The House Bunny. The Time Traveler's Wife. I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to watch it. I'm not. Jillian Michaels, workout video. I'm not getting in shape uh, with that. Let's see, Love Story. Definitely, maybe not. Definitely, maybe not. <laughs> a river runs through it. Okay, that's cool. That's a good one. I'll, I'll keep that. 
As good as it gets, Jack Nicholson, Helen Hunt, Greg Kinnear. Mm, yeah, we'll hang on to it, I guess. Ocean's Eleven. Maybe. I have a feeling I'll be, be getting rid of some of this. Uh, 007, you only live twice. So there's another, three 007s. That's kind of cool. Like I said, comedy in action. The Breakup with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston. There's movies in here that I think a lot of, that some people would like, these comedies and stuff. So, um, another Bill Murray movie. What about Bob? So, probably won't keep that. Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I'm going to give that to the neighbors. They got kids. Paul McCartney, The Space Within Us. This I will get rid of only because we already have it. Godfather, good, great movie. Just Cause, Sean Connery, Lawrence Fishburne. Don't know anything about that one. Philadelphia, do not have a copy of that. Die Hard with a Vengeance, I think we may already have it, but I'll see. The Lady Killers, I kind of wanted to see that when it came out. I did not, so. You know what? This is not bad. This is a, a much better pack of movies than I've seen some people pull out, for sure. Um, Notting Hill. Okay, Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant. More romance. So we got a lot of romance in here, too. Um, comedy, romance, and action. Evelyn. Pierce Brosnan. The Mayor of Casterbridge. Looks like a period drama. White Collar. The entire first season. Don't know what White Collar is, but I won't watch it. Problem is, I have so many other things that I want to watch that getting things that I'm kind of eh on, you know, like Meet Joe Black. I've seen this. I, I'll put it in the pile. I'll just... Okay, this is cool. Greatest gangster films. Old stuff. It's got four um, Bogart movies. Pretty cool. It's got The Petrified Forest, High Sierra, The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse, and All Through the Night. So, four bogey movies. I'll watch that. Christmas for a dollar. Not worth a dollar. Not even Christmas for 60 cents. Um, the Ticket. Oh, okay. Dan Stevens movie. That could be good. He's always good. Sorry, wrong number. Hey, cool. Barbara Stanwyck and Burt Lancaster. Looks like a Turner Classic Movies kind of movie, so we'll put that there. The stack is rising here. 21. Jim Sturgis, Kate Bosworth... Lawrence Fishburne and Kevin Spacey. I don't know. Don't know about that one. Check it out. The Best of Jack Benny. I'm not going to watch that. Where the Truth Lies. Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Very strange movie. Bizarro. Uh, too Fast, Too Furious. I'm not really into the Fast and Furious movies. The ones we're not keeping, we can definitely take and sell somewhere, I do believe, or donate. Raise Your Voice, Hilary Duff. I wonder if the kids across the street would like that. The Cider House Rules. Don't know anything about Cider House Rules. Um, I really doubt I would ever drop, uh, watch that, but uh, I don't think I will. More Bond, Golden Eye. Pierce Brosnan is my least favorite Bond, but that is four James Bonds. Not bad. Quarantine. Check that out. I've never seen it. And the last five here. Training Day. I love cop movies. Bushwhacked. Daniel Stern. Comedy, again, another kids movie. Shrek, another kids movie. 
the Bourne Ultimatum and the Bourne Identity. So two Bourne movies, haven't seen those. those. Those are a couple that I might watch once. So a lot of these stacks, actually I've got more keepers than I do ones I'm giving away. A lot of them in this stack I will probably watch once and get rid of, but I mean for 30 bucks, not bad. Okay, after sorting through all these and pulling out the ones that we already owned, these are the final, final keepers. So not too bad. There's some pretty good movies in here like that Sorry Wrong Number. I actually recorded that on Turner Classic Movies a few weeks ago, so I was already planning on watching that one. And you know, there's a few other keepers in here. James Bond, Caddyshack, some other good ones. The, the Indiana Jones are good to have. We didn't own those, so... Not too bad. It would have been better, of course, to get some Blu-rays. That was a little disappointing. I can't believe we didn't get a single Blu-ray, but eh, yeah, luck of the draw, right? It's what you get. But anyway, that was fun. I thought that was cool. Let me know if you guys have been to Second and Charles and if you bought a mystery box, if you did. And uh, you know, no Blu-rays, but hey, what do you want? 30 bucks, I think compared to some other people's boxes, we did pretty good, not bad can't complain. So that's it for this week. Join me back, join me back here next week, Fright Fans. We'll see you later. Stay mad.